How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, with so many thoughts and ideas and themes going on, how do you manage your ideas and thoughts going into this project? You know, you write them down and, and you try and make sense of them and they're kind of all over the place and you're trying to find the thread, you know? You just uh, don't throw anything away, but you're, you're, you're trying to look for the pattern in your ideas. You have a council that you consult with on getting that, you know, from idea to paper? I, anybody that will listen. You know, I, I, um, I value everybody's opinion, you know, whether or not it's my, you know, fellow producer or just somebody I meet on the street. I will value what they have to say because ultimately I'm trying to make a film for everybody. Well, congratulations tonight. You Thank deserve you. it. Thank, Thank you, brother. You. Uh, talk about being part of a positive black family despite the horror of the film. Um, you know, it's really redefining what the all-American family looks like and can look like and should look like on screen because we have all-American families all over. You know what I mean? They are families of America. And just to be able to see that on screen doing something that seems very normal in this genre is revolutionary, you know? So it's a, it's a pleasure. Bless you. Thank you. Where were you when Jordan called you? Said you you're doing this. Us, you're doing us. I was filming Titans first season in Toronto, freezing my ass off. It was the best news I had gotten in months. It's like, oh yes, back to LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking uh, <laughs> of Titans, you are shot with fellow DC star um, uh, Black Manta and Yaya. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. talk about working with him and that chemistry you guys had. He's incredible. I um I first saw him in the Get Down. And um, I had just always been curious about him since. And um, working with him just blew my mind. He's so talented. And I'm so excited for everything that he's about to do. Yeah. Killing it. Killing it. Yeah. Uh, talk in the film, you play a Lupita's mom. I do. Uh, Everyone knows. I'm so surprised. There's a lot of fans, uh, you know, their blogs yeah, and talk. Yeah. Uh, did you. How did you, did you talk to her a little bit at all or like no, where did you go? I, I did meet her on set and she's just so lovely. Um, and I've just always loved her from afar. So it wasn't difficult to to get into that. She's she's lovely, she's easy to love. Yeah. And Jordan is such a master at what he does. He's, he's like in his prime right now. Hitchcock. Hitchcock. He's Hitchcock. Talk he's about working with things. Mr. Peel and what you took away from that. You know, just his um, kindness towards everyone on set. He's such a kind, loving, positive person. And it's just a testament to you don't have to be a dick and you don't have to be an asshole. You can be brilliant, but also human and nice and lovely. So, yeah, I think that's what I took away most from that. Um, what was your reaction after watching the film and reading the script? What, what did you take away from it? After I haven't you seen it yet. I was, Jordan showed me like 40 minutes on set. Um, but the script was out of control. Like I didn't sleep that night after reading it because it just, it, there's so many layers to it too. So like even while I'm filming, I'm like, oh, and this means that. And like, you know, so many things are intertwined and connected and it's insane. What do you hope people take away after seeing it tonight? What do I hope people take away after tonight? I don't know. I cannot answer that. I think because it's so layered, it, there's just everyone's going to come away with a different revelation and a different kind of perspective. And, you know, yeah, I'm excited to hear the theories and the and I'm just excited to see what people think about it. Congratulations. You Thank deserve you it so much. Thank you. Thank you. You have an incredible year. I mean, come on now. Yeah, it's going all right. I mean, how did you when you, where were you even got the call from Jordan? I, Oh, I think I was probably on the set working on something else, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not busy, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Got no big busy. Um, what was the pitch like when you read the script and you're like, oh shit, like, what is this? Well, for Jordan, this was this. this, this I mean, you know, this was an opportunity to uh, to come down and just to have a good time, you know, to come down and you know, I'm in the movie for that long, and, but you know, they said, hey, you know, come down, have a little bit of fun, and you know, I'm not gonna turn that down. Right, chance to go and play play out with Winston and Lupita and you know my Yale crew and, and obviously Jordan, you know. Uh, in the film, you married to your fellow DC star, Anna. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure, sure, yeah. You know, DC in the house. Yeah, um, yeah. Talk about working with her real quick. Man, she's she's so talented, so sweet, and, uh, you know, she, she's really one that she, you know, she's going to make you prepare. You know, she's going to make you, you know, come and, 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 and you know, bring your A game, and uh, uh, such a pleasure to work with. Yeah. Well, in the film, you essentially play two people. Talk about channeling that other person. 
Yeah, uh, well, it's just really about the imagination and about seeing what you know what what that other person wanted and you know how they move and how they talk and you know so it was all an exploration and fun and movement and all that all, all that other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then lastly, what do you think people are going to take away after they see this movie? Man, I don't know. I think some they're going to take away so many different things. You know, some some will be you know the their theories. Other other will take away the comedy. Other will take away the horror. But uh, I think that's really the fun of it is that you know you get to see what every different opinion wants to wants to be on this one. So I'm excited for it. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, take it. Congratulations on tonight. Thank you. you were so good in the film. So scary. What did Jordan tell you to channel that inner vicious look you had? Um, you know, he would really just come up to me and he would be and he would just be like, okay, time to go into Umbre. And I'd be like, okay. And you know, I'd take like my little time to really just get into my character. Um, you know, we would just hit it. <laughs> In the movie, you're running a lot. There's a lot of action going on. Was, how did you keep up your adrenaline and all the action that's going on in the film? Right. Uh, my dad and I actually worked out together for like the whole two months that we were shooting at the gym, um, we would like run on the track. Um, it was a lot of fun, you know. A good, uh, good excuse to get into shape. <laughs> so young, working with such icons. You have Lupita, you have Jordan, you have Winston. Talk about working with them. Did you learn anything more working with them on set? Uh, I definitely learned a lot from Lupita, just because she spooked me out so much just on set. Uh, but um, I definitely learned, you know, from her and her method acting. Um, it was, it was a lot of fun, and I think that I'll definitely use that in the future. And uh, we talk about working with Jordan. He's such, you know, a, a renaissance man right now and one of our greatest directors. Was it surreal working with him? And what did you take away working with him? Yeah, I loved working with him, and I definitely want to work with him again. You know, he's, he's really goofy and playful. <laughs> but, you know, he created such a great environment for all of us to work in and just, just bond as a family. A lot of tough themes in the film. Uh, what was the hardest for you to, for your, for you to prepare for? I think that I really didn't get the message until like a week ago. You know, Jordan hasn't really talked about it much until we, you know, uh, we're at South by Southwest. Um, as we know, you know, the theme is that, you know, we are our own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's the message people will take away after they see the film? Oh, definitely. You know, um, he said that, you know, we, uh, we as humans are, you know, somehow scared of the other. So sometimes we just need to look in the mirror and see that the monster is really us. Congratulations tonight, you deserve it. Thank you so much, so nice to meet you. So where were you when you got the call you were gonna be in Us? I was uh, shooting a TV show that's not come out yet, so that's a problem, because that's a year ago. Um, that, uh, and yeah, I got a call that Jordan wanted to meet with me about his movie, and he came by our set and, and sort of just said, hey, I got this movie that I've got a part for you in. And I was like, well, what do you want, what do you, who do I need to, audition for he's like no if, if you want it it's yours it's like oh wow so that was it you work with so many great talents Lupita Winston Elizabeth yeah. talk about working with all these amazing people um, I'm just looking for amazing people here I thought I saw Glenn Close but it wasn't her um, <laughs> they're um, un they're all so great they were all really um, warm and welcoming and uh, we had a lot of fun it was it was you know it was um, a pleasure in the film, you come face to face with your inner demon. Uh, talk about channeling that inner part of yourself, and how did you get that across the screen? Well, um, you know, it's a technical medium, so it's uh, it was a lot of hair, makeup, and and finding certain looks and sounds that were going to be appropriate, and you know, trial and error a little bit. Uh, not a lot of like psychological examination or anything like that. That's good. I'll save you, I'll save you the, the therapy. Uh, what was your reaction to the script when you first read it? Oh, I was like, uh, wow, scary, scary and, and bold and, um, you know, big, big, big swing that he uh, managed to pull off. You know, it could, it could be a bad movie, but it's not. You could, somebody else could take that script and make a really bad movie. <laughs> and it doesn't happen. What do you think people are going to say after watching this? What are you going to think they're going to take away? Well, I think they're going to enjoy the experience. Hi. First Get Out, now Us. When Jordan Peele calls, what, what does that phone call consist of and what does he tell you? He doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> it's all a big secret. He just says, uh, he asked me if I was available at a certain time 
when the film would be when in post-production. That's when composers work mostly is during post-production. And then he called me when, um, when the script was ready because he wanted me to read the script. Because I usually start by reading the script and then just writing some music based on what the, you know, what the script suggests to me and what Jordan... And then and after I read the script, he tells me some of the things that he thinks are important in the script, some of its themes and how he thinks that might be expressed musically. And then he lets me show him what I got. Um, when you first read the script, what was your reaction to it and what did you think? I thought, this is really scary. <laughs> and this is a great idea. And he's, pro and he's done it again. <laughs> um, what were some of the ideas in your head after reading it, like musical-wise? Like, how can I put this together? What kind of com compositions can I do for this? Well, so he and I talked a lot about duality because that's kind of one of the themes of, of us. And so I was looking at instruments that may not go together, like in the score you hear a violin and you hear a thing called a cymbalum, which is an instrument that's very twangy sounding and you don't usually hear with violin. And then you hear, you hear a choir, then you also hear a lot of sound design-y sort of rumbly sounds that may not even be music. Um, so there's a lot of juxtaposition of, of expected and unexpected sounds. You, do you make that stuff all in in house, or you've like outsourced it? How does one go about? Because the, the music is so creepy, it makes you know part of the whole experience. So how does that come together for yourself in the in the in the sh in the shop? Well, so thanks to modern technology, we're able to do a lot of it in house, like literally in the house, <laughs> with uh, with virtual instruments and digital uh, digital mockups. But then we take those mockups and we go to a studio. A wonderful scoring stage, and there's a, a, a giant string orchestra that plays all those things live and makes it sound even better. And, but the, uh, and the singing, of course, too. But then some of the instruments that are that are that you can't really place that are sort of sound design, those are in the box. They're created. They sound larger than life in a kind of a, a, a musical version of CGI, if you will. And so those are are just um, created in the house. Talk to me about how this project came into your lap. Jordan called and asked me if he wanted to, if I wanted to join him on another ride, and I said, "Yeah." <laughs> of course. So when he sent you the script, um, what about it intrigued you? What shocked you? What was your reaction? I was not shocked that it was amazing. Um, it was very surprising how ambitious it was, um, and it really, it you know, just even reading the script made my head spin. You know, I was really digging into the meaning of the film just in the script phase. So, very exciting. As a producer, what was the toughest part to put together in terms of like scenes and like what was the hardest part for you in terms of producing? Well, not necessarily hard. You know, it was a very tricky movie to pull off, uh, but I guess just helping Jordan balance the tone of the film because it's an explosion of ideas and you're trying to hold on. You're trying to hold on to Jordan's mind and creativity, which is its own feat to keep up with him. <laughs> so that's probably the biggest challenge, is to come up with ideas that he loves is always the most difficult challenge and the most rewarding challenge when he actually loves something that you came up with. <laughs> you talked about a little bit, you have such a creative mind like Jordan. How do you manage such uh, a, a, you know, br brilliance? Well, it's easy because Jordan's incredibly collaborative. So you know, the whole team of producers and filmmakers and d department heads and cinematographer, everybody had ideas. And, and Jordan would sponge them all in, and the ones that aligned with his ideas were the ones that came out. So it's really just, it's, it's a dream process for a producer to work with a filmmaker like him. Um, there's so many meanings and so many subjects going on in the film. What do you think people will take away after seeing the film? Well, I hope, for one, they they are entertained and they're terrified, but also I hope they walk away from the film thinking about how we as a society are our own worst enemies and look inside ourselves and what can we be doing better to make the world a better place. I like that. Well, congratulations. Zane. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay, Talk about your characters in the film. There's a lot of twinning going on without giving so much away. Talk about uh, working with Jordan and how you guys got to be in the movie? Um, well, our characters are Becca and Lindsay Tyler. We're kind of the bratty teenagers who, we're just honestly, we're just brats. We're privileged, but we don't want to admit it, but we know it. 
And working with Jordan and the rest of the cast was absolutely amazing. Obviously, they're all such like inspirational people and such amazing actors. So getting to work with them and actually like interact with them and get tips from them was really, really inspiring. Uh, in the movie, you guys deal with some doubles. How does that work on the screen? Talk, tell us the movie magic behind that. Well, we had photo doubles who would be in our place, and then at one point I was there for Callie, so then they would edit it together, which took a lot of time to film one scene because you had to be both people, but it was pretty cool because they somehow changed it to be two of us, which is just freaky. <laughs> Speaking of freaky, what was your first reaction to the script? And I mean, I saw the movie, I was freaked out and I loved it. What was your reaction to it? We both read it in like one night. This We got it at like midnight and we stayed up really late reading it and just my jaw was on the floor. It was just incredible to read it and then even more incredible to see it on screen and to see how it turned out. It's really cool. Um, what do you think people are going to take away after they see the movie? You know, there's so many messages going on in the film. What do you think people are going to say after they watch it? Uh, I honestly think that everyone's going to take away a little bit of a different message from it. Obviously that you are your own worst enemy is kind of the central theme of it, but there's so many different layers that everyone can like understand individually, which that's like an individual is going to have to see that for themselves. Congratulations tonight, ladies. Thank you.